Hello, welcome to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to connect to multiple Excel spreadsheets. But before we start, let's look at my intro. I have here the three Excel worksheets that I wanted to connect to my Power BI desktop. And all these three Excel worksheets are in my sales folder. Normally, what we do in our Power BI desktop in order to import those Excel spreadsheets, we go into the Get Data and click on the Excel workbook and choose the Excel spreadsheet one at a time and then load it into our Power BI desktop. Now, the optimal way of importing multiple Excel spreadsheets that are in one folder is we go to the Get Data, choose the More options, and then when the Get Data dialog box comes out, we're going to choose the folder. We hit the Connect, and then we're going to browse to that folder where our Excel spreadsheets are. And that would be under the E drive, under the demo and the sales folder. And once I hit OK and hit again the OK button, what I will have in here are the listing of all the files that are in that sales folder. You can hit the combine button if all of the files in there are all Excel spreadsheets. But what if you have some files in there that are not Excel spreadsheets? You're, you need to hit the transform data, and in the Power Query Editor, you need to filter the extension and only filter XLSX so that you will have only your Excel workbook. Once you have done that, then you are now ready to combine all those Excel spreadsheets that are in that folder. And to combine that, all you need to do is hit the two arrows that are under the content field, and that will combine all the files that you have in that folder, based, of course, on your uh, filter. All of those three workbook has a sales orders um, sheet, so that's why I can see here the sales order sheet. And then once I hit OK, Power BI will now amalgamate all of the data that are on those three Excel workbook. Now, it is important that when you do this, the three Excel spreadsheet or the Excel spreadsheet that you place in that folder have the same schema. Now, let's look at under the transform data, under the source name, you will see in here the three workbook that we have in that folder. Now, assuming that you have another Excel spreadsheet for the following month, all you need to do is upload that Excel spreadsheet into that sales folder, which I have now in April. And in your Power BI desktop, all you need to do is just do the refresh all and the added Excel spreadsheet will be amalgamated into your Power Query. And to prove that under the source name, I can now see that April is included in there. So, in summary, if you have multiple Excel spreadsheets, just upload it into a folder and let your Power BI point to that folder and that will be able to see all the files in that folder. And what's more, if you have new files, all you need to do is just upload it in there and then do the refresh in your Power BI, and it will detect the new files that you have uploaded in that folder. I hope you like this session, and if you do so, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe to get more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.